this is the Magic Heart Box, my harmonica mic attenuator. Uh, I've been playing a lot more amplified harp, and feedback is always your number one problem, trying to play harmonica through an amplifier. Uh, so I wanted to get an attenuator. I looked around at what was available, and I just decided to make my own. It's a simple circuit, and it's what I wanted. It's got a knob so you can control the the amount of attenuation so that you can plug basically any mic into any amp and be guaranteed that you're getting a good tone. This helps you to get a louder, better tone with less feedback. And, uh, you know, traditionally harmonica players have done a lot of things to try to fight feedback, swapping out preamp tubes or using a using an attenuator that goes between the, the amp and the speaker. This, the beauty of this thing is you could just take this to a gig and use a supplied amp, go to a blues jam and use a supplied amp. If you've got a gig that has a back line, if you're just going to rehearse at your buddy's house and you, you, don't, you don't want to take your amp, you can use whatever amp they have because this lets you take the guesswork out of whatever amplifier you're, you're going to plug into. So, um, But it also works great just in everyday use to get the most out of your amp with less feedback. And I'll show you how it works. I'm just plugging into a silver face Fender Champ here. Uh, we'll try it without the attenuator first. Um, turn it up to about three, see what happens here. I've got the volume at three, treble at four, bass at seven. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's see if we can turn the volume up to four. No. Normally you're not right in front of your amp like this either. I mean, that's a bonehead move. But just for demonstration purposes, I want to show you what this thing can do. See, it's just, feed, it's just feeding back too much. So we can't get past four sitting here like this. But if we put the attenuator there, plug in the attenuator, and uh, turn that down. Got the knob down on the attenuator. Now we can turn the amp up. I mean, we can crank it. I'm going to put it on 10. Uh, already, instantly, I can hear that um, the amp is working way harder. I can hear all the background hum. I know now that there's going to be a lot more signal going through those preamp tubes. It's going to get a fuller tone. And with this, we can dial uh, the impedance of the signal where we want it to to uh, to match the mic and the amp to get good tone with less feedback. So I'll start at zero and slowly bring it up. So thirty percent. Way more bottom end out of this amp with it wide open like this. Um, I might even turn the bass down a little bit, I don't know. Uh, let's try the attenuator at the halfway mark. This is at 50%. Uh, I hope that this little tablet is good enough, the mic is good enough to pick that up. It's way louder. It has more presence, it has more bottom end, it's fuller, it has more mid-range punch. Uh, and that's, there's no feedback. And that's sitting right in front of the amp. I could, I can point the speaker right at the amp with this attenuator here. The amp's on 10. Without the attenuator, that would just squeal. Um, so it really helps, it really does work. Uh, it helps you get a louder, fuller, better signal because your amp is working harder uh, and it and it helps you match the attenuation of your mic to your amp. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.